So first I'll start off with, um, we'll be doing a mapping of just a paragraph from a text. So I usually just start off with adding a tile by double clicking and then I cut and paste the text that I want to map. Um, then you can um, adjust it or whatever. And what we're going to do here is just take bits of text and map it. So we have the English colonies in America. So we'll just make that there. After the discovery of the American content. Maybe put that there. Continuous migration of people from Europe to the New World. Right? So we'll put that here. And um, this led to this. Uh, South America was colonized by Spain. That's part of this continuous migration. The English and French established colonies in North America. That's also part of this uh, migration. And uh, by the mid 18th century, the English had established their 13 colonies along the Atlantic coast. So that's part of this. And landless peasants, people seeking religious freedom and traders had settled there. That's really uh, what I posted as two. So we'll put that into one and put that there. Because that's part of descriptor of that. Initially, the relationship was cordial, right? Although these colonies were controlled through the governors, they enjoyed political freedom. So let's put that there. So uh, each colony has its own assembly of elected people. It'll enacted laws concerning local matters. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So let's, let's break this down. So each colony, spelled it wrong, um, controlled by governors, right? We'll make a part controlled by governors, enjoyed political freedom, and had its own assembled assembly of elected people and it enacted laws concerning local matters right so each colony did those four things it's a part whole system we'll deal with this in a second however the policies followed by the home government had resulted in confrontation so uh, we're going to put that here. This is kind of in contrast, setting up the contrast between these two things. These are in contrast, so we'll see what happens in a second here. This ultimately led to the American War of Independence, at the end of which the colonies became independent. So we're going to take the American War of Independence and leads to, um, so this, we're gonna bring this over to here and so initially we had this and um, but then this was in conflict. Here's the root of the conflict. So we're gonna do a, a two-way arrow there. And we got a conflict here. 
I'm going to put that in caps. And this conflict leads to the American War of Independence. So we'll put leads to onto that relationship. And that leads to the American War of Independence. Um, and then it gets cut off there. So that's the end of our... Um, and this is the American War of Independence. We'll put that there. Right, so now we can get rid of this thing and um, we can name our map, you know, Eng English Colonies of America or whatever. And get rid of this one. So after the discovery, we have that leads to a continuous migration. Uh, continuous migration and the question is how does this big piece fit with this big piece so the English and French established their colonies by the mid 18th century um, the English had established their 13 colonies along the Atlantic coast and these were the types of people that um, <clears throat> that settled there and so then we have essentially the 13 colonies. This is the 13 colonies. I'm going to put this as a subtext to this one because it's sort of just a subtext. I'm going to say Atlantic Coast and then we can... Uh, and then what we're going to do here is break out this these 13 colonies. And we're going to add a part just to be a placeholder and then say layout freehand layout. Actually layout uh, freehand and then pop out parts. And then what we're going to do is make this thing really big and grab all of this and put it in here. And then I can delete this guy. And there we go. So this leads to the War of Independence. For some reason that's. There we go. Okay, so. First comes the discovery, and then you know we can we can do kind of um, something like this: thirteen colonies, and we could you know get a an image like this, and we could put that over there, um, and then we can add a little bit of you know a little bit of image here: thirteen colonies. And, you know, this is kind of the crux of the situation was this conflict between the way that the colonies were set up to govern themselves and then the ongoing policies um, of, of that. I'm going to put this one above and this one down below because that happened next. So this conflict between these two things leads to this thing. And that's really, um, so this is just British, British policies. Right, and this was each colony. So I'm now I'm just kind of making it a little bit more. Um, making more sense. So you had each colony had this and the British policies 
weren't that initially initially they were cordial right so it's the change over time so initially they were cordial but then they became kind of uh, not so much, right? So, and I like to spruce things up a little bit with, uh, make it a little easier with elbows to understand, right? So we can say this leads to this. Initially they were cordial, but then, uh, then British policies were oppressive. Okay, so and I'm actually going to break this into two parts here because there's two parts actually creating the. So it's this difference between this guy and this guy that makes it really happen. And so like this was kind of green or okay and this became kind of not so okay. So red. Right? And then that leads to the war. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, South America uh, is colonized by the by Spain you could go you know get Spanish colonies in South America you know perhaps you get uh, I don't know you find a good one maybe this one and you put that over there, so there's, you know, a slightly different thing, right? So you really have, and then this one, since these are kind of equal, I'm going to um, organize these in column. And we don't really talk about the South America one. We just talk about the North America one, the English and French. And I can get rid of this. And refresh to... There's a little bug going on there. And there, there you have your, your map. So the discovery of the American content leads to migration, which leads to colonies. Those colonies initially had these five things, which was copacetic and cordial, but British policies become more oppressive and that creates, sets up a conflict that leads to the American War of Independence.